Hello everyone and welcome again to another episode of the GT Trial Guides. Right now it's not an oval. <laughs> so yeah, it's Blue Moon Bay Infield A with the Nissan GTR. So yeah, let's begin. A uh, few minutes before this um, this board that you can see that tells you that is a uh, left hand corner. Um, a few minutes before that you have to start turning in. As you can see, I'm going full throttle without braking, just turning in and then a little bit ahead uh, around here. I'm starting to, to apply the, the, the brakes. Um, be really careful here because um, the camber changes, obviously, so it might be a little bit bumpy at the entry. So maybe you can you, you, you will not be able able to to see the, the the racing line correctly. Let's try this. As you can see now I'm full brakes and then obviously trailer braking into the, the apex. As you as you watched here, um, that was quite bumpy. Let's replay it. So here turning in, then oof. Quite bumpy in order to to gain more speed at the exit so you hit the apex around here so lay apex and at this point i'm going full throttle aiming to the blue wall that you can see there uh, at the outside just this, this one and uh yeah that would be turn one uh turn two is you have to start turning in and braking just a little bit uh, at around 30%, just a few meters be uh, after the, the 100 meter board. So you follow this line here, just cut everything here, you won't be penalized. Uh, trail braking is crucial here. Try to adjust uh, your speed uh, by braking, obviously. So do not go too wide just around here if you go too wide you you will you will get into a throttle too too late so you will lose time as you can see here i'm going full throttle at this point i mean if you if you do turn two currently you will not be able to touch uh this turn three uh, apex because otherwise if you touch it uh that means that you 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 were not using the 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 hundred percent of the grip you had available, so that meant that you you were <laughs> uh, slow at the exit. So yeah, um, following the the next corner is you don't have breaking points, turning references, nothing is just by what you're seeing right now. Um, but yeah start turning in and braking at the same time because uh, what you need to do here is try braking do not brake too much or do not be too hard on the brakes try braking was crucial and mm, try not to to go into the the the, the throttling too early you know because you can go wide at the exit uh, Let's replay it. So trail braking. And as you could see, I, I went into the, the, the throttling. I started applying throttle a little bit late. You may think it's um, is not too fast, but no, it's it's the correct way to, to do it. Maybe if you can if you can manage yourself to, to to gain to the the throttle a bit a little bit earlier, you you can you can gain time by by doing that. But yeah, uh, this time was okay to be to be honest. Right on the limit at the exit on, on that curve. Now the hairpin. Um, I know it, I know it's not recommended to to use shadows at, at breaking points, but. In Gran Turismo, you, you, you don't have um, weather changes, so the, the, the shadow will stay always there and you can use it. 
as a breaking point so as a breaking reference so i just tried to to break just at the entry of the bridge shadow as you can see here at, at exactly this point and then try to go deep this hairpin just like this i i don't like to draw any v or something like that I just try to to go into the inside a little bit a little bit earlier and then stick to the inside and uh at the exit be really careful well exactly with, with this car it's quite tricky to get into the into the throttle but yeah um try to use all the track available as much as you as you can and now open up this one um just start braking and turning in at the same time try braking again um just before the curve ends as you can see here on the right hand side just before the curve ends a few meters before and that should be fine so try to follow the um this darker darker line uh so do not touch the first apex just the second one around here and at this point uh, i you can see that i'm still i'm starting a plane throttle and then be really careful again with this car it's quite tricky on the accel acceleration so yeah at this at this point full throttle without going wide just over the limit on, on this outside curve and then um this one is yeah it's quite tricky as well what i did here is just lifting if you feel more more comfortable by braking do that but not too much i mean just a little tap to the brake and that should be fine but uh yeah a few meters before the, the 50 meters uh start turning in and 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 lift uh, at the same time so the car can rotate and uh this this is really crucial here so try to take a wider entry so you can take a better exit and you can gain more time S but what is what it's crucial here is to cut this as much as you can and obviously try try to stick as close to to the wall as possible and uh yeah that should be fine with the with this corner and at this point as you can see i'm starting applying throttle and a few meters ahead i'm going full throttle if you do this correctly you will almost heal hit the the, out, the outside wall as you can see here a few i don't know a few centimeters from the wall but yeah full throttle and yeah that's that would be all the guide for for for, for this track and now you're gonna watch the this this same lap without any pause so pay attention to the telemetry and uh yeah be really careful we, we turn one with that camber change uh, so it can get quite bumpy and yeah uh, ho i hope you you can enjoy this
Well, guys, that would be all for today's guide. I hope you like it. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, well, it's quite a tricky track to say it in some way. Um, be really careful with turn one and you, sh you should be fine with uh, with every corner if you follow the, what, what, I, uh, what I already told you. So yeah, uh, see you on the next one.